And joining me from Ottawa to take a look at some specific details in the federal budget is Liberal MP Ruby Dalla. Welcome, Ruby. Thanks for talking to us tonight. Thank first you very all, much. First of all, tell me, what are your thoughts about this budget? Is this a budget for all Canadians? I think there were many things that were left out, uh, you know, of the budget. Uh, we saw that uh, there wasn't uh, the investments that we thought there would be for many important social justice programs uh, like affordable housing, like homelessness, like childcare, a poverty reduction strategy. Uh, it was definitely a budget that lacked vision, that lacked focus and really didn't provide the leadership that I think our country needs as we uh, move forward into a summer in certain times. If we took a, take a look at some of the specific details, uh, specifically immigration, that of course uh, for a lot of our viewers is high up on their list, $22 million to improve the process. What are your thoughts on this uh, immigration investment? Is this enough? Is this going to help things? Being elected from the riding of Brampton Springdale, I can tell you that I know all too well of uh, the serious nature of uh, problems and challenges that we face within the immigration system and, you know, the challenges that people face in obtaining visas, uh, you know, in countries like India and China to be able to come to Canada. Uh, the money obviously wasn't enough. Uh, secondly, in terms of immigration reform, we need concrete reforms and we need action to ensure that there are an increased number of individuals that are able to provide the resources necessary to ensure that we reduce wages times so that when people sponsor their parents or they sponsor their loved ones or when we're reuniting families people don't have to wait for years and years and uh, from uh, being here in the last uh, uh, you know two years since the conservatives have been elected I don't know whether they actually understand the challenges that immigrants face uh, that people are facing within the immigration system so obviously today it was a very lackluster budget now, we know that the Liberals aren't planning to oppose this budget. We know that members are going to be meeting tonight, but I understand there is a degree of division of sorts. I am hearing it from you. You don't seem overly pleased with the budget. So if one were a fly on the wall at this meeting, what would we be expecting? Uh, well, we're going into a caucus consultation uh, in uh, the next 20 minutes, and then we'll be able to, uh, you know, hopefully come out of that caucus consultation uh, with some more insight. But I can tell you that uh, our leader and our party uh, decided today, uh, looking at the budget, despite it not having vision, despite the fact that it was lackluster, to not plunge the country into an election campaign, a campaign that would cost over $300 million. I can tell you from being in my riding last week and talking to Canadians, talking to Bramptonians, people are certainly not ready, uh, you know, uh, or wanting to go into an election campaign. Uh, we will ensure that we continue to advocate and push for reforms in immigration, that we push for health care, that we ensure that child care continues to remain on the map of this uh, particular conservative government. And we face some very uncertain times ahead that we take a look at the International Monetary Fund, uh, which has just downgraded us from a 2.8 percent outlook, you know, to 1.8 percent uh, an economic forecast that has not been seen since the era of 2000. 2001. And in those uncertain times, uh, I can tell you that we as Liberals will continue to advocate for the issues that are important to many Canadians and many people that are watching your show. Well, certainly uh, a lot to look forward to. It's from what we appear a lot of things that still need to be worked on. And we are going to look forward to the vote on Thursday. Ruby, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you very much.